the Marigold Sochi. It was selected under strong and rustic conditions, ensuring an easy production of the variety and a reliable crop under, under its adverse conditions. Because of its rusticity, Marigold Sochi also has stronger pedicles than normal that will permit you to produce bigger heads that won't break when shipping or when handled. Its size and color are perfectly stable and it comes in the most popular marigold color, orange. This flower is mostly used for the dead of the day celebrations and today Christina is going to show you how to use them in everyday decorations. Hi Christina! Hi Carmen! I love this flower, not only for its beautiful and vibrant color, but because of its textured petals and the size of the flower, which as you can see, it's very big. Like Carmen mentioned, this Marigold Sochi has the advantage over others where it won't break when I'm using it. And it also has an amazing base life. I already have my ingredients laid here on the table. I have the brassica, the pink snapdragon, the dianthus amazon, the green bull, this new color, uh, Limeonium Cinci, in lavender color, our star of the day, the marigold Sochi, and obviously some, some greens. First, I'm going to use this brassica. I'm going to crisscross some um, snapdragons uh, to give, it so, give the bouquet some uh, different heights. Now, I'm going to use this beautiful Dianthus Amazon for giving more texture and more color. Now this green bowl. More texture with this limonium. The marigold sochi. And the grits. Here we have our flowers, our and tie bouquet. Now I'm going to tie it with some rustic twin. And we have this uh, beautiful hand tie bouquet with the main flower, our marigold sochi. But let me tell you the tale behind this beautiful flower. From the land of drums, ceremonies, and ancestral rituals, where the force of nature and the magic of colors are always present, the unique story of Marigold Sochi is born, a flower charged with energy which carries the memory of the lands of South America to the rest of the world, sharing the magic and wisdom to new cultures. After cutting the stems, I'm going to uh, wrap my bouquet with these beautiful papers. And that's it. We have our hand tie bouquet with our main flowers, the marigold touch. Now we're gonna start doing our second arrangement. Christina, what are you doing? Now let's start with the flower arrangement in this beautiful Mexican vase. I'm going to start uh, ar the arrangement with the greens and the dianthus sweet. I'm going to use it in different heights because I want to have a height point moving all the way back down. Now I'm using these three celosias in uh, three different heights. I like using them like this because uh, that's how I get this fresh natural look. I'm going to use this green ball here in the center of my arrangement. I want to create more lower points, high points. Now it's time for the marigold sachi. Look at the size of that flower head. It's beautiful, I love it. How many are you gonna use in there? Only five. Only five? Yes. It's going to be my main flower and because of its huge size, I think uh, five is going to be perfect. I'm cutting them in different heights just for continue giving the arrangement this natural feeling. It's like bringing the flowers from your garden to your home. Yes, that's it. 
Beautiful, Christina. This arrangement is going to be yours. Great. <laughs> Now let's use these beautiful long veronicas that are perfect for contrasting the round shape of the marigolds with the thin but textured shape of the veronica. That's it, this is the arrangement with the marigold sochi as focal flowers. Now we have seen two different ways of using them, in a bouquet and in an arrangement.